Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you guys are new, I usually tend to make a better effort than this. I just kind of went for a bold lip, but I just got off of work. I got my people coming back home from out of town. They're going to be here any moment. They're probably going to get here as I'm filming this. I guess a good thing that we're not a beauty channel. Plus, if you really want to see me ratchet, go back to my like first first reviews. Oh, anywho, I did it again y'all with my decorations like I did with October. I took them off before I actually did the like month that the a holiday falls in totally forgot i like packed everything up changed the stuff over here i still have my home decorations up i'll be taking them down this weekend so i just went ahead and brought Santa Claus over here i i usually bring this one from the living room also it doesn't actually belong here also y'all can y'all see like i'm telling you i just got off of work i have a big old nasty stain right here can y'all see it you're probably like no but now i see it let's get on with this video we're gonna start off with after ever happy i know it's a terrible name this is the third i think fourth installment within the after series i have reviewed the other movies i haven't reviewed this one i totally forgot i meant to review it totally forgot i literally just remembered right now i think i might go ahead and still review it just because i do have reviews for the other movies and so my ocd is kind of like ah um so i have said this every time i talk about these movies i love the book yes it's a very toxic relationship yes it's like unhealthy yes it's not really good the movie's not really good i really enjoy the books i mean it's still a toxic relationship over there oh and let me take off this bracelet because it makes a lot of noise but i will say that this movie is probably the best out of all the movies that have come out um from it this movie did come out earlier in the year technically but it officially landed on netflix in december and i wasn't gonna pay to go watch this movie just claiming how bad it was and unfortunately it's not part of like the a-list stuff they're trying to make me pay for this and i'm like how am i gonna pay for that shit this might be the first movie that we don't see the full-on toxic relationship i feel just because they're not together they're, they're pretty much separated in this part and they're kind of working on each other of course how the last movie ended we were in london for the mother's wedding and we pretty much pick what well, we do we pick up right after that i was surprised how much i enjoyed it i was just like oh you're not as terrible as the other ones so just because the other movies were so so bad i'm just gonna put it under you tried it is um gonna be a two-part deal this was supposed to be the finale and i really hope just because this one was this good now i'm kind of going with higher expectations on the second part of it because i really 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 love how how this book ends like they tie everything up so so good and i'm like oh, i can't wait to do it so i have higher expectations now seeing that this part was actually good because we know we've had so many terrible ugh. anywho we're gonna keep moving forward with the well now this one of course did get a lot a lot of like buzz like early in the year during like all the film festivals and everything brendan fraser amazing performance and yes brendan fraser gives top performance here definitely um should be getting nominated for an oscar based off of a play which when I saw the movie, I didn't realize that. I didn't know that going in. It was until later on that I was like kind of reading stuff. And it was like, oh, based off a play. I said, oh, like, why didn't I put two and two together? Usually I get it. Like, I see it. I'm like, oh, it's a play. And it does make sense now that I think about it. Because we are just stuck in one location, which is this um, apartment. And it really does give you that claustrophobic kind of feel to it. But basically, oh, you know what? I didn't review this one, but I did do a TikTok on it. I've been more on TikTok, y'all, lately. And I've also been uploading shorts, ADD kicking in. Some people really enjoy it, like myself, and some people are like, no, this movie is not for me. They're just fat shaming. And I never got that from it. And I really don't want to spend too much time on it because I just feel like that particular thing kind of will get people lost and away from what the movie really is about. This man suffered from depression after losing the love of his life. Everybody handles grief differently. Everybody handles depression differently and and some people may go through a, through a very like deep dark hole and they just cannot come out of it and really he's just trying to reconnect with his daughter who's played by Sadie and Sink and we're just really at the end of his life the very finale was probably like the part that I didn't really like the most I guess I don't know like that was kind of weird for me but I still enjoyed it I don't know but I, I get the play vibes now but I really enjoyed it I thought it was a really really good movie unfortunately this movie did not make it on my favorites of the year or like even like honorable mentions I think it's like right after my honor like it's like the honorable mention of the honorable mentions we're gonna move on to Puss and Boots this is I believe the fifth installment within the Shrek series and the second Puss and Boots movie and honestly I didn't go in with very high hopes because I did not really like the original Puss in Boots movie. I was very disappointed. I went in with higher hopes with that one and I was really disappointed with the whole story and everything. But this one is actually 
actually really, really good. It just surpassed everything that I wanted. We have Antonio Banderas and Salma Hayek returning for the voices of Puss and, and, and Kitty Softpaws, is that what it is? And then we have a Perrito with a little dog. He's like trying to be a therapy dog. I don't know, he's so ugly but cute, I love him. And we're just trying to go and find the last wishing star that there is and it's kind of like the journey of going and and Poos is really at the end of his life. He has gone through all his eight lives and now he's like the final one and the way that he's finally able to appreciate life because you know, you really at the end of the day just have one life to live. The animation, I don't know, it was like, uh, like it wasn't totally for me. It gave me a lot of like, um, what's it called? Pa um, panda, <laughs> Kung Fu Panda vibes. And I like it in Kung Fu Panda. I'm just not used to it like within the Shrek universe. So I was, it was, a little off-putting for me but it was still good the animation was still really really good and I thought it was a pretty awesome movie as well again it didn't really make it into that top of my list of anything but overall as I'm thinking about it it's like oh yeah it was really really good can you remember I think I gave it like three and a half stars I give it a medium popcorn oh I did review this one this is the only one I have a review on y'all <laughs> The other two, I have two two shorts. The second one's gonna be Guillermo de Toro's Pinocchio. Of course, if you saw my last video, which is my top 10 movies of 2022, this was up there as a favorite. So we're gonna go ahead and put it up there. I absolutely fell in love with Pinocchio. I never cared for Pinocchio. Puppets honestly freaked me out, mind you. When we do get introduced to Pinocchio as like him alive here, he was creepy, but then like, as he keeps going, you know, he's not as creepy. But the beginning part of it, he was like very contortionist, creepy ass looking Pinocchio. And this is a stop motion movie, which I absolutely love. Of course, you know, one of my favorite movies of all time is stop motion. And I think there's just such a beauty with it, within it, just because like everything that's involved within the movie has been handled and cared for uh, by another individual. And the way that Guillermo del Toro was actually able to tell this story took them 15 years to do this because obviously it does take a long time. It's beautiful but in a dark way. It's the same story but different. We have like new beautiful characters. Pinocchio obviously like this version he's not as cute and everything as you're used to. This is an unfinished product of a man who was drunk, who was in pain, who was in sorrow. I've seen this movie twice and I absolutely just oh my god it's just like it you would get all the feelings within it and i i uh, just I, I can't stop i i just can't stop smiling and thinking about it and i love look oh look ah, i got my pops from it too like this is how much i love it we gotta cut this already because like i said my people should be getting here any moment i want to make sure i get everything taken care of but these are just the four movies that I saw uh, in December 2022. Let me know down below. What did you guys see? Uh, did you see me the same things? Do you agree? Do, do you disagree? If I can speak correctly. If you disagree, that's totally fine. You know, of course, just comment down below. Keep it respectful. And yeah, I only saw four movies because I was trying to catch up on movies that I didn't watch prior to make sure I got my list all complete. And I did see a hundred movies this year, or in 2022, the last uh, movie that I officially saw was Marcel the Shell with Shoes On. They're here, y'all. Oh no, they're not here. I still haven't watched a new movie for 2023, uh, but in 2023, well this year officially, when I'm gonna be doing these monthly wrap-ups, I am gonna be doing them slightly different, and I'm actually gonna be talking about all the movies that I watch within oh, that month, whether they're new or old, because I think it's always nice to still give like other recommendations because you may not have seen something I, I really enjoy or not, or it could also be like a first time watch. I wanna know what you guys think about it too. If you do prefer for it to just be like just the new 2022 releases, let me know. And if I get enough, you know, like feedback, we'll see whether we revert back to the original, which is like this, or we'll keep it with everything that I watch within that month. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, if you haven't already, uh, give this video a like, subscribe, comment, share, all that other good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys in concessions. Bye.